Hello, welcome to Maths with Jay. We've already seen how we can use WX maxima to find eigenvalues of a matrix. And what we're going to do today is have a look at how we can find eigenvectors as well. So we'll select the uh, matrix and looking at the algebra menu, last time we went for eigenvalues, this time we want eigenvectors. And you can see that actually we again find the eigenvalues just as last time, but then after that we have the eigenvectors. So that we can see for the eigenvalue 8, an eigenvector is 1, negative 1, which you would normally write as a column vector. And for the eigenvalue negative 1, we've got an eigenvector of 1, 2.